Hello guys and welcome to another immersive engineering tutorial video. Today we're taking a look at two weapons or tools I guess you can say. Uh, the chemical thrower and the mining drill. For me they are more a tool than a weapon but you can use them for as a weapon as well. We will also take a look at the jerry can and this is where we begin today. Iron and buckets gives you the jerry can. Very simple and very useful. It can contain 10 buckets of uh, any fluid, I guess, of any kind. And you can use it to refill your tools when you are out on mining adventures or similar. You can fill it with the bottling machine. Perhaps this is the preferred way since uh, it comes with the mod. So just use it as we've done, use the bottling machine before and you will have 10 buckets of biodiesel in this case. See, very easy. So, but you can fill it with other means as well. Uh, let's see, we have the refinery over there. I don't want to run over there, but you can fill it directly in the re refinery as well with biodiesel. If you have other mods, perhaps the fluid transposer from thermal expansion, then you can just throw your jerry can in there and it will be filled up with 10 buckets of water in this case. So you can use this to place fluids on the ground like water. Let's see, if you take this water and you can pour it down here, but you can't pick it up. What I did now was that I <laughs> place more water. So you can pick it up, but you can use it to place. But mostly you want to refill it. And this is what we will take a look at right now. So the mining drill. Two wooden grips, heavy engineering blocks and some steel components. And then you have your mining drill finished. But we can't use it just yet. We first have to equip it and we have to uh, fill the tank. So here we have some biodiesel, or well, we can use it here. And you can do this before you, uh, you place your parts on it, or you can do it now, it doesn't really matter. So let's attach something. For example, the iron drill head. Just blocks of iron and iron ingots. And you have to use the engineer's workbench. Just throw it in there, and now we're ready to go. So it's fueled up and it's ready, so now we can drill. This has a, um, an iron pickaxe mining level, I think. And just aim for the center. If you aim over here, then those two blocks will be mined. So aim for the center and you can see that, you can see the uh, breaking area changing. So just do like this and everything will be fine until you hit obsidian. Here you will need some more powerful stuff like the steel drill head. Same type of recipe, blocks of steel, steel ingots. Just run into here, exchange your drill head to steel and you are good to go. It takes roughly 10 seconds or so to break obsidian, but after that you will be cruising with your mining. And uh, let's see, we can, um, yeah, we can take a look at the upgrades now, I think. So first of all, we have the pressurized air tank, and as you can read, allows mining drill to operate underwater. You, I haven't really tried this, but you are supposed you're not supposed to have any uh, mining uh, mining speed penalties when doing this so uh, useful for underwater operations next up the uh, advanced lubrication system use your plant oils and iron and stuff and you are will get some speed it's not that much i think because last time it took us roughly around 10 seconds to break obsidian and I think we are 
well, it's almost the same at least. But obsidian is of course very hard. But it takes the same time to break nine blocks as it takes to break one. So at least that's really nice. So we can move on with this one. We can add three additional ogres. You can, uh, they will increase your attack damage. As I said, you can use this to protect yourself. But perhaps this isn't the main, <laughs> the main use of the tool. And you can attach one like that. And you can see you had, it became slightly longer, the drill head. And if we have two of them, you will get some, some gears, top and bottom. And the final one is that you will get an additional gear on the side. So this will, I think we can just do like this. Yep, two shot, quite nice damage, I guess. So uh, good to have, definitely. The difference in damage isn't that much. You still do a good amount of damage, but you can't two shot a villager. Finally, large tank, steel, iron, red color. Just apply this one and we can remove the pressurized tank. Uh, as you might suspect, this will give you more capacity in the, uh, in the tank. Four buckets instead of two. So, uh, yeah, quite nice. And you can, you can refill it when you are out mining, but you have to wait until it's completely empty. So remember that if you have problems to refill it, it must be empty. But you can of course run away to your refinery or to your bottling station, bottling machine. Then it will be refilled as, well, as you wished. See, four buckets. So one final thing to mention about the the, the drill is that you need to repair it. You can see the durability went down and that's because our drill head becomes damaged. So throw your iron drill head in there together with some iron and it will be repaired. Same thing for the... like that. Steel drill head, steel. As you would expect. Now let's take a last check in this video on the uh, chemical thrower. Craft it with the pressurized air tank that we had as an upgrade before. Heavy engineering blocks, nothing strange really. It looks like this. Um, we can actually do this in... We should have two of these. Hang on. So now I can demonstrate how easy it is to fill it. We can fill it with diesel, simple as that. And we can fill our other one with water. Yep, like this. So now we have diesel and water and you can fill this. And if it's flammable, then you can also set it on fire. So it looks like this with water and biodiesel like that. But if you shift right click, then it will be, <laughs> then you have a flamethrower. Oops, I missed. Nice. But you can upgrade it, of course. So first, large tank, same as last time. Just do like this and that, and then you have it. Then you have four buckets. Finally, focused nozzle with the steel and fluid pipes and a hopper then you can upgrade, and this is a good upgrade of course. This will give your spray, it will make the spray more focused and also give a slight, oh this one, slight better reach as you can compare these two. Significant difference. So goodbye with you and thanks for participa participating. <laughs> And I think that pretty much covers what I wanted to go through in this video. So if you have any questions, leave a comment and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.